Welcome back campers. We decided we wanted to try out some of the equipment we got and sometimes we just don't have the opportunity to get out to a park. So what better place to go than the backyard, the wild frontier. We set out to try out our tent that we bought. I believe it's a four or five person tent. It's a Magellan, picked it up at Academy. I'll do some more talk and deep dive reviews on that in another video because there are good things and there are not so good things. And we also wanted to try, well, I wanted to try sleeping on the ground with my uh, inflatable sleeping pad that doesn't require a pump and see how that would hold up for me in hiking. I mean, I'm a big boy, as you can see in this video, and I've got some back issues. So trying to work all that together and be able to go camping and hiking is something that uh, I'm trying to take account for. And we also wanted to try getting out there when it was cold and seeing if the portable heater, the buddy, portable buddy, Mr. Heater would work for us and how it worked with our big 20 pound propane tank. So this just gave us a chance to get out there. The weather was going to be nice and cool. Wasn't going to be too wet. Um, there was some rain on the forecast and we decided to also leave the tent out in the backyard for a few extra days just to see how things would hold up. So like I said, I'll go into that more in depth in another video. Something I wanted to touch on as well when doing this video is we are by no means expert campers. We are just getting started ourselves. We've, my wife and I have actually done some camping over the course of 19 years, but not very frequently, and we want to know more. And one of the reasons we wanted to do this YouTube channel to be able to share with y'all actually came about when we went to Black Rock Park, our favorite, up there on Lake Buchanan, and we absolutely loved the bathroom and showers where they had a heat lamp and they had shower heads that were adjustable and good hot water. And then we get to the South Shore Park in Bastrop, which is also the same owned company by the uh, Lower Colorado River Authority. The cabins were the same and we loved those, but when we got in and we saw the showers, we were very disappointed. Now I heard they had hot water, but you couldn't adjust the shower heads, and for a big tall guy like me, that meant leaning up against the cold wall to take a hot shower. There was no heaters in there, there was no heat lamps, and that just kind of drove our desire to maybe break down and review the park some more, to give a deep dive on each of the parks that we go to to help everybody see what's great about this park and what's not so great about a park. There you have it. It's a four, I don't know, maybe five person tent. They never really fit that many men, do they? But yeah. it's enough for the three of us tonight. I don't think mommy's gonna wanna come out and sleep on the ground yeah. with us, so. But we'll have fun with it, won't we? Yeah. Yeah? But I think she's gonna be too cold tonight. You think she is? She didn't want to sleep. Ah, she's excited. Ah, she wants to sleep because she's there. All right. What's our slogan going to be for our YouTube channel? Mm. Happy camping, y'all. Happy camping, y'all. Let's say it all at one time. Look at the camera. Happy camping, y'all. Happy camping, y'all. Happy camping, y'all. So I got this sleeping pad on Amazon from Olar Hike. Uh, it was about $30. Doesn't require any kind of a pump or anything. It's got everything built into it. I've already slept on it at least once. I was pretty happy with it. It's got a built-in pillow, if that's enough for you. And uh, it's easy to fold up when you're all done. So, really liked it. I'm going to try it now. Instead of on a cot, I'm going to try it on the ground tonight and see how it does for me. So, check this out as I set it up. I've been impressed by this inflatable sleeping pad. The ability to inflate it and deflate it quickly without needing any extra equipment. How small and compact it is when I roll it up, I can easily take it hiking with us. I went ahead and bought a second one for my wife. They go really nice in a cot. So if that's something that y'all want to use them for, it's great. But on the ground, I definitely want to get some of those 
uh, sleeping mat as well to go with it and try that out. All set up, laying down in the tent. Now we just gotta get ready for bed. Oh wait, it's too early. Well, it's around Christmas time, so I think we'll go spend some time setting up the Christmas tree. We're gonna use out our Mr. Heater Buddy portable heater. And we got our 10 foot hose, which is official from the Buddy Company. Uh, the reason that they said it's best to use their official hose is it does not leak any oils into the heater, which can be dangerous. It, the oils can break down from the old hoses and get into the bottom of the heater and cause it to quit working. Quit working being the nicest thing that can happen. So they say that when these hoses stop becoming flexible, it's best just to replace them but they make it with a special kind of rubber that's not going to leak oil down into the heater. So I'm going to go ahead and hook it up so we can have a nice warm night after it cools off tonight. Had to do a little troubleshooting there for a moment. Looked like it had moved around a little bit. It has a sensor so that if it tips over, it doesn't want to operate. That's a safety feature. So I had to get it to a point where it felt like it was level, and then it finally got some of the gas to flow in there, and I got the pilot light to come on. So let's take a shot here and see if we can get it running on camera. It says once you get the pilot light going that you should hold it down for about 30 seconds. And then after that you can turn it to your desired setting. It's got low or high. Once that pilot light stays on without me pushing, turn it over to low. I can see the blue flames going across that white. I believe that's a ceramic. Looks like a waffle board to me. And I can feel the heat start to come off of it. And it'll start to boil orange here in a minute. There it goes. I can start to see it light up from the back. All right, that's looking nice and orange. Let's see what it looks like if we turn it to high. Can you feel the heat coming off of it? Look at that. You see it get brighter? Now, first time using it, we used the little one pound cans in a much bigger tent on low, and we didn't ventilate enough, so it was a little stinky in there. But we were nice and toasty in that tent on a 40 degree night. I didn't even need to get under the covers for quite a while. The downside to using the one pound cans is even on low, it ran out at about four hours. So two, three o'clock in the morning, you wake up freezing. So we decided we were gonna try out using this hose in a 20 pound can. Supposedly 20 pounds of propane on low will last us about 40 hours. Good morning, everybody. Hey, good morning, buddy. Mr. Heater. The girls are still sleeping. <laughs> Fortunately, my nose is stuffed up. That's no fun. Definitely need to get another sleeping pad to go under. My back's a little sore this morning. We'll figure this stuff out. Time to get up and start the day. Happy camping, y'all! Happy camping, y'all! Happy camping, y'all!